Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Hot Sauce Review. I have a hot sauce that was brought over by the punter and the puntette. This is a Chetty's hot sauce. I don't know if this camera is going to show it. I was trying to show it on JTV. I don't know if they saw it either. But the bubbles on this, there's actual bubbles in there moving upwards. And that's never a good sign. I shouldn't see bubbles inside a hot sauce at all. This hot sauce is not carbonated. Um, like you'd have a... Well, actually, you know what? That could be kind of cool, carbonated hot sauce. But hot sauce isn't carbonated. I shouldn't see bubbles moving upwards through the stuff. You know, little bubbles on the side, whatever. But these ones are moving up. I shouldn't see that. Uh, that worries me. That worries me quite a bit on the status of this hot sauce. I worry that this hot sauce has fermented. It was separated earlier tonight, too, so I mean... Uh, let's see if I can even get into it. It's fighting me right now. It's fighting me, guys. Uh, I don't even have anything down here sharp. I have no nails. I could try and use my teeth, but since they don't close properly... Okay, so this is Chetty's Pineapple Hot Sauce. Now, Chetty's is in Keswick, Ontario, so I really should probably try to get a hold of them and see about filming there just to see what it's like to see hot sauce made. Uh, what are we having in here? Pineapple, crushed hot peppers, vinegar, prepared mustard, which is vinegar, water, and mustard seed. Um, then what do we have after that? Hot... Uh, paprika, uh, spices, mustard flavor, garlic powder, and salt. There's one thing in here I can't read. Uh, they have this palm tree on the label. And the one thing I can't read is in the palm leaf. That pisses me off. Oh, well, it didn't explode. I thought it might. Um... Fairly watery, I didn't read any gums on there, so let's see how it comes out. We might, yeah, we still have to take it off. It's thicker than I thought it would be. Okay, take the lid off, here we go. Oops, that was my chair. Not me, that was my chair. Uh, there we go. Not quite a full spoon, but I don't want to spill any, so we'll just leave it like that. Oh, that smells... It smells very interesting. You get the garlic, you get the salt. The pineapple is very apparent. So is the vinegar, though. The paprika isn't coming through, and neither is the mustard. Um, that's kind of a saddening factor on it. But let's try it. Cheers, guys. That is a very flavorful sauce that you could use on almost anything. However, however, it has one of the weirdest chalky mouth feels I've ever put into my mouth. I put a lot of things in my mouth. I have. Let's be let's be crystal clear here. There's been a lot of things that have gone in my mouth that most people wouldn't put in their mouth. That's the weirdest texture I've ever had. Um, very nice and tasty. A little bit of heat. I didn't think I'd get any heat with just crushed red peppers, but I'm getting a little bit of heat, which is a nice turn of events. Uh, it's okay. It's nothing special. Uh, the salt comes through, the garlic comes through, the pineapple comes through, and the pepper comes through. You're really not getting much mustard. With all the mustard and vinegar in this, I was expecting it to be like a, a hot mustard, but it really isn't. It's its, its own sauce. This could go on any Caribbean meal you're making. This could go on tacos. This could go on, uh, on. This could even go on Mediterranean and Middle Eastern meals. I mean, this can go on anything you want. You could even put it on eggs if you really so chose. Uh, not a bad sauce at all. Uh, I'd give it a uh, give it a seven out of ten. I would buy it again, but uh, it's nothing special. It's nothing I'd go out of my way to get. But it's a very beautiful flavored sauce. It just doesn't have enough heat for me. 
or enough flavor in all honesty. I can see it going with everything as I said, I just can't see it being something that I would go out of my way to get. There's so many better sauces out there, there's so many sauces out there anyway, that unless the stuff blows you away, there's no reason to waste your time on it anymore. It's just like the beers that we do reviews for. There's so many great beers out there, and there's thousands of beers to try, that there's no reason to keep wasting your time on mediocre bullshit. And I'm not saying that this is bullshit, it's just, it's mediocre, it's the middle of the road, it's just to the point where I would buy it, it's, it's not special enough to waste your time on, but if you want it, grab it, if you want to try it, grab it, if you love it, grab it, do whatever you want, but there's just not enough time in the world for stuff like this. Uh, Chetty's has made some great sauces, this, not my favorite one by them, thank you very much guys, Chetty's Pineapple Hot Sauce, goodbye.